Hey, Forge fans, Anthony Urcioli here, your digital host. As part of the Forge Audio Network, Forge FC getting set to take on York United Friday um, in the GTA. Forge getting an unexpected bye week after their match with that, their highly anticipated match um, against Valor in Winnipeg was postponed for COVID reasons. Um, and so time to hit the reset button. And that's what I spoke to coach Bobby Smear Neotis about the head coach and technical director of Forge FC. I had a chance to speak to him today. And so let's take you behind the beard. Unexpected bye week. Um, I, does that change much? I mean, is it easy to just kind of hit the reset button and prepare for a new opponent? Yeah, I think to be honest, we're looking forward to going and playing uh, the game at Ballard in Winnipeg. We had a great training week last week and thought, you know, everything was uh, was ready, had a good game plan, but there's certain things obviously we cannot control. Uh, so yeah, I just hit the reset button, we played an inter squad uh, amongst ourselves, uh, and now we're just getting set for York, you know, and they're the challenging an opponent down the road. We always know they're very good games, so we're looking forward to it. Yeah, York kind of represents the, the, the parity of the team that the league has found. Um, you know, there was concern, you know, Forge is dominating too much or maybe Calvary. And it, it hasn't taken long to see that week after week, anyone can beat anybody. Um, you know, York has uh, had an impressive win over Calvary themselves. Have you seen the parity really kind of show through now in this league? Yeah, I think the one thing that we've seen and I've talked about from the beginning is uh, that we'll see results like we've seen over these first few weeks. I think it's a, it's a normal thing. You know, a lot of teams have had some changeover, teams coming in with the same identities, uh, different things. So I think it's been common if you look over the last few years of, uh, of the league that we see uh, the results going different ways in, uh, you know, what I'd call the first uh, eight games of the season. And I think that, you know, that trend will probably continue. You know, for us, we want to make sure our trend uh, continues with uh, three points and we keep on moving up the ladder. Uh, is, are there specific reasons that the parity's really kind of shown through? Is it just that the teams know each other well? Yeah, I think to, to be honest, I think it's uh, either teams knowing each other well or teams getting to know themselves well. You know, one thing we see is uh, there's a lot of changeover in rosters um, from year to year. We've been able to keep a consistent uh, team, but we've had quite a bit of uh, changeover as well this year. So I think you know it, it takes some time. It doesn't matter how you go about your preseason uh, and what your friendly matches are. It's this first part of the year when you have that working on the tactics and integrating everyone. I think it's normal to see uh, what we've seen over these first few weeks. Is the club getting healthier at this stage? Yeah, you know everyone is uh, is looking good. You know we're uh, ninety uh, percent of the way there, which is uh, which is very good at this point in the year. And that's another thing we've seen across the league. There's been different injuries amongst players and so on. And could be you know a longer period of time off in the, in the off season for us a very short off season. Um, so different factors always play into that. But uh, you know the team is looking good. The team is healthy, and we're just looking forward to Friday night. It's a little odd. The first few seasons, a lot of traveling, a lot of matches this season has had a different feel I would think just a little more downtime more time for preparation yeah it just seems like it we're getting into what would have been uh, week five or, or match number five for us four and it uh, you know it's a little settled in between in between games you know we have some time we have some more time to prepare more time to deal with film and and go over things uh, with uh, with the players uh, but on the flip side I didn't mind playing every three days either right uh, so last week I spoke to Andy Petrillo fantastic host and analyst with my soccer CBC she said after one of the first times she spoke with you she walked away saying Bobby is a genius and we just need you to confirm or deny whether Bobby is a genius or not I don't know I'll leave that for uh, for Andy and all the, uh, the reporters out there to, to form their uh, their opinion on that just like working hard in here that's the most important thing. Uh, lastly just your thoughts outside of the, the CPL Carlo Ancelotti winning the uh, his fifth title in Europe uh, just kind of looking at it from the outside it's has to be one of the more difficult things to do in all of sports to win five different titles in your five different clubs just kind of your thoughts on, on you know, that. obviously I think he's a, he's a special coach you know he's a special way of, of working in the locker room with uh, with not just uh, regular teams but with superstars and I think that it takes a lot uh, from that and to be able to do it in the, in different countries with different clubs and at different phases of his career with those clubs all being super clubs uh, let's call them that way whether it was uh, AC Milan Real Madrid uh, Chelsea it takes a special person to be able to do that and you know from what I know and from what I hear he's he's great in the locker room and really you know demands uh, or gets the respect of his players and gets the best out of them and he's a big supporter of Canadian soccer too yes he is yeah. we are the Lord, the mighty, mighty Lord.